Yo, what's up guys? It's Kaylin here with Kaylin Writes. So um, I was talking to my mentor and we were talking about wealth. And um, you know, I've been on this journey to create wealth for myself and manifest financial independence for a while now. And uh, you know, anybody who's been trying to do it understands some of the difficulties that come with it just procrastination trying to figure out what to do having multiple talents and trying to decide which one to pick deciding who to listen to what advice to take I mean then you can even get into like some of the smaller details like website should I get one now or business license should I get that now which type, LLC, you know, S Corp, whatever. There are all of these little mini things that come up on the path to creating wealth for yourself. So we're having a conversation and, you know, I told him I want to start a business and he kind of laughed and he was like, you are intelligent, you're smart, you're capable, you're a good looking guy, you could do whatever you want to do, but you'll never be rich if you keep doing the same thing you're doing now. And what he meant by that was your inability to remain consistent is that creates a problem, you know, because if you want to be successful, you can't jump from one thing to the next so quickly or before finding out whether the thing that you're doing works. And that's normally the issue. We try to do something and we do it for like three months and then we don't see the results that we want so we quit or we move to something else um, in my case and probably a lot of other really creative or multi-talented people's cases what we find is that we can do so many different things so if we're trying one of our skills that we're really good at and we aren't able to monetize it just yet we jump to something else that we're also really good at and we try to monetize that and if that doesn't work then we either go back to the first thing after a while or we move on to the next thing that we're good at so you just end up in this perpetual cycle of trying to manifest wealth but you don't have consistency and so he said that there are a lot of intelligent people and the majority of them are broke and it was like whoa in our world particularly in the western world education and knowledge are prioritized and we build our lives around how much you know and we minimize other people if they don't know a lot you know we call them dumb or stupid or whatever so we, there's this high value on education but the thing is education alone doesn't make you wealthy like you can be really smart you can have a doctor's degree and be making no money which is crazy especially considering how much it costs to get a doctor's degree um, and you can be multi-talented you can be good at a lot of different things and still not be wealthy and it's like wow how can you have so many different skills and abilities that you're obviously good at but not be rich so what he explained to me was that some of the quote unquote dumbest people, and they aren't really dumb, but just like, you know, maybe they're not book smart, which is fine, are the richest, most successful. When you think about it, it's like, wow, you know, and then there's that debate between should I go to college or should I just build my empire, you know, um, like traditionally intelligent people a lot of times don't make that much money and it's not always about money but if you if money is a goal of yours aside from the fact that we all need it to live if having a lot of money is a goal of yours you should know that being multi-talented and very intelligent are not going to make you wealthy what makes you wealthy is consistency in offering a product or service to someone when you can package your abilities and you can promote them then your chances of creating wealth long-term wealth for yourself increase now this is to say that you know doctors and lawyers and professionals aren't rich because you do experience a lot of those people who are 
very rich and wealthy, they managed to take their high incomes and invest them into lucrative ventures or the stock market. You do get that. And then you also have multi-talented people who are able to uh, package their talent into like one main thing, you know, like um, somebody who's a computer scientist, a graphic designer, and a tennis player. And so they create a video game <laughs> for tennis, you know, and so like all of their skills are incorporated into that. You know, so the, you do have uh, possible ways where you can have multiple talents and combine them to create wealth for yourself. But the main point is if your talents are as diverse as mine are, where I am a writer, a poet, fitness trainer, musician, putting all of those things together is kind of going to be like, uh, you know, you can combine certain ones. But in my case, it's just best to pick one. So I decided to stick with writing and have a writing service. And that has been able to bring me the kind of income that I want because it's clear to people, it's definitive. He does this, we don't have to guess what he's doing, how he, what service he offers. And it doesn't really give people too much choice. It's like, well, he's offering this. So, you know, they don't have to guess, in other words. And that's what we're really after. And it's also, you wanna find something that people need, something that is like relevant to people's lives right away. The tough thing is making a choice to decide which of your talents you're going to stick with. When you finally figure that out, that's when the money will come in. So, I'm not gonna be too long, but the short of it is, we were talking and when he told me, my mentor told me that you've got to pick something and stick with it long term until you see the results that you want. That's when it became clear to me that, oh, this is how people in business make money. You know, find a product, find a service that you like doing, that you can make money with, and go hard at it. Once you do that, that's when the income comes in. So, um, that's it. Thanks for listening. This has been fun. I love doing these kind of videos and sharing with people. Um, you can check me out at Kalen Wright on Facebook. You can go to Kalen underscore M underscore Williams. That's my Instagram, Kalen Wright on Twitter. But anyway, all of the links are in the description. Like, subscribe, share. Peace.